Hi guys, welcome to Faster Than Light. So today I'm gonna do a little bit of a easy laid back gaming. I'm setting the game for easy. Uh, and we're gonna just, you know, slightly relax, chill out with this game. As I found this game so nice and, uh, yeah, it, the, the music, the sounds, um, just helped me relax a lot. Um, so yeah, we're gonna pick one of the ships and we're gonna set off on a galactic adventure. Well, maybe talking a little bit and stuff. So, the plot is that the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. And that's pretty much it. So, let's start our adventure through the galaxy. Game like this really remind me uh, of the old school games and in, in, in those like positive ways because this game like really takes what's best of those old school uh, fun imaginative games so you begin charging your FTL drive and do a quick scan of a local planet you find the ruins of a recently destroyed federation colony on the surface there must be a rebel ship in the vicinity Let's let's go look for those rebel ships. We are able to quickly track down the rebel. Let's hope he's as easy to defeat in combat as he was to find. We need to boost or put energy into our weaponry. Uh, so this guy also has a drone that is constantly barraging us with uh, with shots. As you can tell, they have a little bit of an advantage, but then we can focus our fire on the specific systems of their ship. And right now we were able to disable their weaponry and their drone. So they managed to repair their lance beam, but first of all we can shoot it again, and second of all, lances cannot pierce the shields of the ship. And so, as long as the drone control is down, we are safe. And here goes their ship. And so, we can send our boys, our crew, to repair the damage. Okay, so... Let's return them to their stations, as the more time they spend on particular station, the better they get managing it. And so it is fairly uh, vital for them to keep the same station as long as they can to boost up their skills and then eventually switch them so every crew member is able to take over uh, all of the others. There are a number of privately owned ship construction platforms in the area. We find one that has a slot open for some immediate work. Inquire about their specialty. They offer to upgrade your oxygen system in exchange for some scrap. Okay. We let their team on board and after a short time they finish their work. Okay, our oxygen systems are a little bit fucked. I hope it will turn out fruitful. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. It immediately moves in to attack. Okay, it seems that this is a very similar situation. Oh no, they actually have the opposite. The drone is using the beam weapon uh, while their main cannon is on the ship. But that won't be enough for you to stop us. They have some help from the asteroid field, as you can see. But thankfully, 
we have disabled all of their weaponry and now we can focus on the shields it won't be long let's repair our oxygen systems our crew can also level up their repair their repair tool Okay, as we can see, the rebels are approaching. We must start moving forward. We discover nearby planets speckled with settlements, although none respond to your hails. It's a shame. Probably they are afraid to help Federation, which is on the brink of being destroyed by a rebel fleet. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free unharmed. No, we will never surrender one of our crew to slavers. Again, their drone is a lance model and I can see they have a missile launcher. That's very unfortunate, they managed to score a hit. Thankfully. The crew member responsible for our engine room is alive and well. One missile is not enough to stop us. It does not seem that their crew is good at repairing their ship. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die all day anyway. Yeah, that sounds... As much as I want to destroy the slavery, uh, I need to help them out and I need to escape so I will take Aisha Aisha is of the race uh, that looks a bit like rock people and they're uh, they're very durable uh, very uh, very good fighters so maybe in the future We'll try to build um, a boarding system for our ship. I see a distress signal on the map, so let's see what it is. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help to fix or disable it. I will help them. Simply fire on the defense system from a distance. You fire a few volleys from a distance and it is clear the defense system is no match for your weapons. However, the station, station does not seem happy with your solution. You salvage what you can and jump before there is trouble. If I had some maybe more scientific crew member, they would be able to... Uh, to maybe find another solution. Unfortunately, I did not. You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. I I will not allow you to uh, to take slaves anymore. I am going to fight. I'll do what I can to stop them and free the slaves. We took a strong, strong hit uh, to our shield systems. However, in exchange, we managed to disable the weapon array completely. They're repairing it quite quickly, but not quick enough for us to renew our laser barrage. They won't be able to shoot again. I'll make sure of that. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die anyway. <sighs> Yet again, we have to comply. We need crew members and... Yeah, I don't want their lives on my hands. Once the Federation re-establish uh, our forces, we'll do something about those slaves. Let's heal up before going forward.
as we are all healed up, let's save our stations and jump to the light speed. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. You have to defend the outpost. The rebel responds to your threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. They move in to engage. I will not allow you to just take it out on innocent outposts, civilian people. We're not doing that great with breaking their uh, their weapon systems. Oh, finally. One of their crew, member, their crew members tried to board our ship through their teleporter, but thankfully we have two, uh, two people of this like rock tribe. Sorry, I, I can't remember the name of their race. I will check it in a second. But Aisha, uh, one of those managed to, one of them managed to repel the attacker. can always uh, open the airlocks and try to suffocate them. And so their ship is no more. The outpost hails you. The pompous bastards expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for the hope. And so we need to heal up before going forward, as we took uh, some damage. Their boarding party is no more. We can uh, we can heal up and prepare for another jump. We can check uh, the cost of the next upgrades for our ship. So we are getting some scraps and we use those scrap points uh, as kind of a currency for our upgrades. But let's wait for some more, maybe we'll be able to buy something for it. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. There is a black market hub here. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military grade explosives, we'll gladly pay you for them. I have some. Although, 5 or 15 scrap is not really a good deal, so I'm gonna ignore that. And let's jump to the next sector. So we have some enemy controlled uh, sectors over here. And then a lot of hostile sectors in the future. Let's take a path more uh, suitable for our allies. You have arrived in Engi space. The Mantis have been threatening the Engi core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Let's try and do so. The area looks clear and you prepare to jump off, but a Mantis scout jumps in behind you. They're as surprised as you are, but their weapons are already online. What a shame. We'll try to destroy their weapon systems with our missiles. I'm saving missiles most of the time because they are uh, quite rare and expensive uh, as much as they are powerful thanks to their ability to go through the shields. Like the ship shields usually focus on uh, energy damage. They can stop the kinetic one. So the missiles just travel through the shields. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. That's very nice. We are able to go further.
What at first seems to be a simple nebula is actually filled with a good amount of debris from a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens and tumbles into the depths of the nebula to be lost to sight. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation. Let's try to investigate. As you approach the wreckage, a mantis ship screams into the system, either sensing prey or to finish the job its fellows started. They are extremely aggressive. We'll try to take them down. I hope we'll be able to find actually some friendly Enigy soon. I could use some trade for uh, maybe some powerful weapons that could uh, be attached to our ship. As for now we are still using our very basic um, basic weaponry. The ship explodes. We managed to defeat them. I think this is a good time to maybe invest a little bit into power in our ship and more shields. And now we have two uh, second level shields, so we can take two shots. The rebels are already approaching, but I'm, uh, I'm sensing a distress call. So let's try to check it out. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them asking what's wrong. Help! We are being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Well, that's not really, really good. Should we risk the loss of some crew member? I mean, we have to try. Your crew slowly creeps up on the cluster of the creatures from behind. Without warning, the giant arachnids turn and charge. However, your team stays in control and before long you've beaten them back. Contact the station owners. They are thrilled with your success and offer you a reward. That's very, very nice reward. I'm pretty sure that uh, we only we were only able to do that thanks to Aisha and Hasifa. Because I tried it once with a team of regular humans and they were quickly overrun and one of our crew member died. Now that we help them we can move move on. Yet another. A mantis ship engaging a civilian hails you. Sparks fly about his cockpit as he yells. Stay out of this humor, else you are next. I will not stay back. I am gonna aid the civilian ship. You frown, power up the weapons and prepare to engage the mantis ship. Not today. I will try to help as many people I can on my way to the Federation fleet. Let's just continue the barrage on their weapon system. They don't have the drones uh, or the teleporter, so basically they're completely reliant on their ship's weapons. As long as they can shoot, they will not be able to do us any other kind of harm. And with this they are gone. Let's attempt to contact the civilian ship. The civilian ship wisely made a fast retreat while we distracted the hostile ship. Let's go. A ship refueling station is stationed at this beacon. We can purchase fuel here. That's good. Fuel is always important, so let's buy all they can give us. Thank you for your business. Every jump subtracts one fuel point from our storage. And if we go down to zero, we're done for. You receive a distress call from a nearby enemy ship. Assistance requested. Danger present. Imminent destruction. 
respond to the call and move in to assist, of course. You receive another message from the ship, this time with the mantis at the comlock. Foolish meat sacks, heals. Sensors indicate the ship is moving in to attack and boarders teleport from the station. It was a trap. Unfortunately, mantises are also very uh, aggressive and powerful uh, fighters. So we really need to um, do our best. And they have the defense drone. That's not good. We need to focus on keeping our crewmen alive. Thankfully we managed to stop their weapon resistance. juggle through my crewmen to keep them alive but thankfully we managed to beat all of the enemies that's very good slowly healing up and they can do anything about it the ship explodes and we are able to move on they focused too much on boarding party and did not leave enough repairmen back at their ship some more in their energy of course I see a store nearby but let's first try to check out the nearby system maybe we'll be able to pick up some more scrap it seems so as I stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet they are powering up their uh, FTL if they get away they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position they need to be stopped by all means possible. They have a very powerful attack drone. He has a very quick attack. We uh, disable the cockpit, their cockpit, and uh, damage their engine. This should be enough to stop them for at least a little bit. We're gonna damage them some more. And now they're done. Their ship breaks apart and you are relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. Let's try to go for the store now. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG Hive at this beacon are selling equipment for just that. Let's see. We could buy a drone control room. We could also get some crew members, that could be pretty useful. They have some recharge boosters. The ship's FTL drive powers up 25% faster. Scramble and enemy ships faster than light computers, doubling the time it takes for them to jump. Or prevents your weapon fire from disrupting your cloak, allowing you to shoot it well. Oh wow. All of it seems pretty, pretty interesting. Mm. We could take one of the enemy crew members. They seem, they're, they do seem capable. <coughs> Although we do have plenty of crew members. 
So let's try. Let's try taking crew teleporter. We have good fighters. We could uh, try to pursue the combat uh, and boarding style of fight. Uh, since we don't have really that much scrapped by anything else, let's just focus on fixing some of the ship damage. Try not to ever uh, repair yourself to the fullest, as some of the um, events can boost up your uh, your health, so you don't want to miss that. It seems we still have some time in this sector. A cluster of enemy satellites in the orbit of a nearby planet are the only clue the mechanical species was ever here. You have other other places to be, so nothing here, unfortunately. Just wasted fuel. The rebel fighter here would seem to suggest elements of the rebel fleet are already making incursions on enemy space. We move to engage. As always, let's focus on their weaponry first. But as we do so, let's try uh, maybe teleporting our crew. Okay, so both of them are here. So some, someone from their crew just went to the healing station, so let's try to surprise them with one of the Artemis missiles. I don't want them to heal. Okay, we managed to defeat those. And There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. We strip it of, of, useless, uh, of useful materials. Remember to uh, really take care of your guys when they are boarding. Uh, the boarding is a really powerful tool for you as you are able to take much more uh, scrap and other items from the ship than you would if you were just to simply destroy it. So we're gonna leave uh, this orbit as soon as our guys are healed up. Good. We still managed to have some some time on our hands before the rebels arrive. An enemy ship in the vicinity seeing you jump in arm to the T immediately broadcasts its surrender. Subject goal. Well, Energy motivation, survival, transfer of goods, acceptable. Explain that you are friendly. The NG are satisfied with their explanation. Beneficial, subject goal, long, long journey. Remains compatible with transfer of goods from NG. They send over their gear, the gear willingly, and you feel better for it. Thank you. It's time for us to go. You've arrived at the long range beacon. You come out of the jump to see laser blasts coming from the other side of the beacon. It looks like someone is under attack from pirates. Aid the civilian ship. You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. seems that this pirate ship does not have the healing station, so we can focus purely on boarding them, and uh, our weapons should just focus on their weaponry system. Okay. Engi are not the best fighters, so we should be able to take them on. Yep, 
we did it. Apparently the ship that was being assaulted was a science vessel. I thank you for saving them and offer a small reward. Great job. And we should move to the next sector. Some kind of uncharted nebula. We've entered a sector thick with nebulas. We'll have to navigate on the instinct. That's not good. Well, at least it will slow down a uh, rebel fleet. You spot a rebel ship in the nebula ahead and stay off their radar. Try to engage. Prepare to chase them. You get disoriented in the nebula and lose your bearings completely. It takes some time to get back to the beacon. It's, com it's likely the fleet has had time to advance closer to your position. That's not good. Let's move on then, and forget this fiasco. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned with the OA within the nebula to warn of your passing. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fled fleet of your position. We can't allow that to happen. We need to immediately focus our weaponry on their, uh, on their engines and cockpit. They have no shields, so that's pretty good. The ship, the ship breaks apart, and you feel a relief in the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. Let's repair our, our shield room before going. Ships are crucial to our survival, as you can probably tell by now. I'm also gonna heal Aisha. Okay, we can check out the store now. We managed to save some scrap. Seeing a trade depot set up near the beacon implies there is an alien settlement on some nearby rock. You decide to check out their wares. So yeah, they have cloaking system which is very, very curious thing. They have some beam weapons. Slow but reliably powerful standard beam weapon, a pike beam that can cut across entire ships, assuming there's no shield to stop it. Interesting. Huh. But then again, they don't have anything more. We could go for some drone control room for some additional power. Close the ship adding safety to your evasion and preventing the enemy ship from locking on with their weapons. I always wanted to try the cloaking device, never get the chance, so I'm gonna go for it. Okay. I will need to uh, save some power for it. Okay. Let's jump. Yet another advanced scout of the rebel fleet. Let's take care of it. Okay, we've weakened their weapons. But our missile missed. And we were not able to take out their engine. Now it's, it's weekend. So while we are in the cloaked, uh, stealthed uh, um, state, their weapons does not load, uh, and so their attacks are basically stopped for a few seconds, which is very good for us. We did great, and we can jump ahead. Heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. 
Oh, I have teleporter, which unlocks another option. Lock onto their life signs with your teleporter. You beam the Federation crew aboard. One gladly joins your crew. The rest wait to be dropped off at the next station. And so, we have yet another crew member. And that's very, very good. We'll leave them... Uh, we'll leave him and the shield room. And we can jump on. Let's try to take a small detour before going for an exit, as we have much more time. We cycle through wide band Kong channels as soon as you arrive. Nothing but static. Okay. What more can we find here? You see a number of derelict ships near this beacon. After a short time you hear the telltale sounds of a teleporter and shouts coming from within the ship. You've been boarded. Okay, we need to quickly discern where they are hiding. Oh no, they are right by the captain uh, cockpit and the crew. We need to move as much of our people there as we can. Thankfully there are just two of them, so it's not too scary of a boarding crew. We still need to go and heal up a little bit though. Okay, the crew is... Uh, healed up. Now let's just wait for the bridge to be repaired. Okay. Let's assume our usual positions and we can go on with our mission. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. I'm not gonna let you pass by, you pirate. You power up your weapons and move in to engage. Uh, okay, so it's, it is a manned ship, and so we can send our crew to board them. Let's just try to take away... Uh, take out their weaponry system. And while we're at it, let's destroy their uh, healing station. Oh, it seems we won't be able to. Uh oh. It seems that we are in a bit of a trouble. They look like they don't want to fight. They're trying to escape. If they escape with my people still on board, it will be a big trouble. So let's take them away from the ship. They hail you. We realize our ship is no match for yours. If you let us go, we can make it worth your while. I will not allow uh, the criminals to ravage through the systems. The ship was carrying military supplies. You pick up anything that looks salvageable from the debris. We managed to get hurt a bit. Let's boost our energy now let's wait let's wait and see if there are any uh, stores nearby we need to heal up a little bit So the weaponry systems are now repaired. 
We are able to move on. You arrive in the middle of Plasma Storm. Despite the harsh conditions, Herbal Scout seems to be waiting for you. Well then. Oh no. In those situations we have way less uh, way less energy. Let's drop our crew directly to their weapon systems and try to take them out. And let's try to redirect our power to the shield systems. I'm currently leaving everything to my boarding crew. Come on guys, I believe in you. Yeah, both of them have uh, way more life than regular humans and so they are able to beat through them. Oh, you can see someone else is coming. Okay, it seems we are doing this still. Come on guys, come on. Okay, woof. We were very, very close uh, to losing one of our crew members. We need to heal them up before coming. Oh, and we are losing oxygen. We're in a really bad position here, so we need to do the bare minimum uh, and jump off as soon as we can. Okay, so one of them is healed. And Aisha is healed as well. Okay. Let's get away from here. So there's some distress call from here. But let's first go back to deeper into the nebula storms. A black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before pushing his wares. Purchase an unknown weapon for 45. No. You can see by their marks that this is another pirate crew. So let's let's take care of them. Uh, first we need to power up all of our systems back. Uh, good. Should we they don't have a healing station, which uh, which makes me really tempted to try and board them. And I think we'll do that. Let's try to beat up their systems. Oh, oh, okay. No, they, I made a mistake. They have a powerful crew. Well, let's just hope we are able to survive the attack. Okay, so one of them left. Oh, wow. Probably afraid to die. Yeah, there are. Oh, yeah. Oh, our shots. He went to repair the uh, uh, shield room, and that's precisely where our shots hit and took care of them. So let's return our brave boarding crew back to our ship. Okay. While they are healing up, we should move to the distress signal and see what we can do for them. You find the source of the distress call, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. We have rock crew and they are pretty immune to fires. So you can so we have a new option. Send your rock crew member in. Your rock soldier tears through the airlock directly into the fire. You've never seen someone that large move that fast. It disperses as much fire present as possible into the heart of the blaze, and eventually the fires start to die down. Let's contact the survivors. With most of the fire under control, the scientists are able to help secure the station. They offer you their sincere gratitude and a generous reward. We have a new augment. These are like uh, special add-ons to our ship that uh, gives us the passive boosts. Scrap Kirk arm, um, from what I remember, 
allows us to get more scrap for fights. And so I think that pretty soon we'll be pretty rich. It's really it's really good that we reach out to this distress signal. You look like a mili uh, you look like a military vessel. You're trying to get back to our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade and could try to improve your reactor if you have any extra supplies. Of course. You make the exchange and your team comes on board to try to improve your reactor. Very very good. Okay, let's go to the next sector. The Zoltan patrol their borders but let you pass when you you ID as Federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. And we have store right here. And the stress signal right here. Oh unfortunately the distress signal leads us through a worse route. So let's go for the store first. Or maybe um yeah, first here to check if we can get even more scrap. A small shuttle appears on the local radar. Turns out it is a rebel automated scout. Precisely. You can notice that I don't board those automatic uh, scouts. That's because since they are just the remotes, they don't really require uh, oxygen on their ships. And so my crew would quickly suffocate. So remember to never uh, board the automated vessels. Unfortunately, they're doing quite great with breaking us apart. Okay. Scout ships have a uh, passive repair time, but it's slower than uh, when a regular crew repairs your ship. Let's heal up our wounded crewmen before going. Remember to always take good care of your crew members as you, have, you never know when will be the next time you'll be able to obtain some. Let's boost our uh, our doors just in case someone boards us, and uh, let's jump to the nebula first. Before, if you can, just try to get as much scrap before moving to the store as you can. Your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stationed to look for you. We have a cloaking device which gives us a new option cloak to stay hidden. Um, no, I will attack. I want not only their scraps, but also uh, to just stop the Federation. Um, so, we're gonna first uh, drop the crew there. But yeah, let's do this in the shield room. Oh no, they have defense bots. That's really bad. Really, really bad. Let's move away, try to buy some time. The defense bots are really powerful fighters. Yeah, let's take them out of here. Defense bots are precisely that and nothing more. They only focus on riding across your ship and defending against intruders, very powerful automatons. But if we manage to heal and go back there, they actually don't have any healing stations, which means that basically uh, they will stay wounded, but we don't. So, let's try to destroy their engine room. And if we can't... Yeah, 
and they offer to give you some of their goods if you don't destroy their ship. I will not accept your surrender, you are of the rebel fleet and you will tell the enemy where I am. So let's focus now on taking, taking down uh, the robot. Okay, so all of their crew members uh, come to this room. Very good. As you can see, the fight is really hard. But yeah, now that their ship has been emptied of hostiles, you search it. Eventually, you find a prisoner who offers to join your crew. Very good. Let's heal up before going. So he is one of the Mantis uh, race. They're uh, they're pretty pretty skilled fighters as they attack very fast and often. And as you can see, they have as much health as regular humans, which is pretty nice. He will be a great addition to our team. Okay, let's move on. You never know when the rebel ship starts showing. Another, uh, an advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. You can use cloaking device to attempt to stealthily access the space station. You successfully sneak by the ship and access the station undetected. The station is a storage site for military grade weapons. You find one that can be easily attached to the ship. It's very powerful, heavy laser mark II. Let's check it. This is our first new weapon. Our usual uh, laser requires two power, shoots every 12 seconds, three shots. This one requires three power, shoots every 13 seconds, only two shots, but they deal two damage instead of one. And they have a chance of breaching the hull of the ship. It's not extremely powerful, but it's still pretty good. So I think we're gonna have to power, power it soon. But for now, let's move on. Let's check the store finally. We have a lot of scrap. The Zoltan are fascinated by other species and have set up something of an alien knick-knack shop here. Why not take a look? Unfortunately, it's a very small shop, so let's focus on some repairs and we can finally buy the drone control room. What is this? System repair drone? I see. Um, we can buy the defense drone. It can be pretty, pretty useful. As you can see, our ship is now extremely well built. Um, so, let's go for some more power. As we are now hitting the, the strides with it. We can also start implementing some of it to our uh, weapon control system to be able to hold more weapons in the future at the same time. Okay, let's let's move on. Then. Let's go back to the nebula to hid to hide from the incoming rebels and slow down their pursuit. As you wait for the FTL drive to charge, you half expect to be ambushed at any moment. However, no attack comes. You spy two pirate ships lurking in the nebula here. They remain unaware of your presence. You are able to get your scanners to at least identify their cargo. One is carrying the fuel supplies, the other the ammunition. They begin to drift away from each other in the storm. I forgot to secure more fuel, as you can see. So let's secure the fuel supply. You jet toward the pirate ship with the fuel and supplies and engage. Hopefully, you can leave the ship in one piece. Precisely what I, what I thought could happen. They don't have any medbays too, so let's focus on 
I think where we know uh, some of their crew member might be. Uh, they have ion weapon and regular shot, so no missiles to be afraid of. We need to quickly uh, take over the ship. What should we attack first? Let's go for their engine systems. Engine room is a good place to start your combat, as you know that uh, someone have to move there, and there are only two spaces, two slots in that room, so you won't be faced by many many enemies. And in the meantime, let's try to take away, away the weaponry. They're putting up some resistance, but that's not enough. With the ship in one piece, you are able to salvage most of the fuel supplies before the ion storm clears and you have to jump away. Very good. And one of our uh, crew members from the boarding party managed to level up their combat skill. It's very useful. Now they are doing 10% more damage. Yeah, I forgot that I have no power in the med bay. That's why I hate the ion storms draining our power. We have to be much more strategic about uh, diversing the power through all the rooms and the systems. Okay, let's jump. The drone isn't looking for you, perhaps it's scouting ahead for the rebel expansion, or maybe they're seeking to use this nebula for cover. Regardless, it identifies you as hostile, and so we have no other option. Okay, we can test out our combat drone make faster work of their, uh, of their ship. Let's take out their drone uh, command center. Again, they have only laser beam weapon, which can't pierce through uh, the shields. And so, without drone, they will basically are uh, weaponless. Okay, we can jump, move on. Inside the nebula you detect a rogue planet drifting through space. On its surface a huge monolith visible at this distance, even to the naked eye. The Sultan Elder hails you from the planet. Through luck or intent we have discovered the great eye. Look into its depths and receive your, your just deserts. Um, Sorry, but I'm pretty scared of that. And I have no Zoltan crew member to explain this to me, so let's leave. Your mission is to save the Federation and discover new wonders around the galaxy. You prepare to jump. I'm sorry, as impolite as that may seem. It's just to be sure that I am protected and that my crew members are safe. You arrive at the Zoltan Research Facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to the stasis sleep and prolonged ethyl travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. We have a few moments. Your crew calmly lines up for the Zoltans to take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your participation in our study. Please accept this small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. Thank you Zoltan. They are just such a nice race. Let's move on. I'm really hoping for some store. Oh no. Oh no, this is a very powerful ship. You arrive in an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. 
By attempting to access these closed mining pools, you are in violation of the Natural Mi Mineral Protocol Act. Protection Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. You don't have time for this. I'm I'm so sorry. They have missile weapons, so let's uh, boot our defense drone. Defense drones uh, are shooting down the missiles, which will have help a lot. Let's use our own missile to uh, go through their shields. Zoltan has their own kind of uh, shields, as they are extremely uh, high-tech race, and they really know their stuff when it comes to uh, technology. So let's throw our our warriors into their shield room. Sultan are not the toughest fighters, however, uh, however, when they die, they explode into a field of energy which additionally wounds anyone in the same room as them. That's why I put my high endurance warriors there. And we've managed to secure some few, a few of things to that. Okay, now we need to take them out. I'm very proud of them, they are doing a great, great job. As you can see, our defense drone is also shooting down the uh, asteroids that would be hitting us. And let me tell you, that's a great, great benefit. It's not shooting as accurately and, and well as it could, but that's only the first level defense drone, so I hope that on the future levels it will be better. Unfortunately there are still no show shops in the nearby vicinity, which worries me a little bit. Your crew are constantly looking out of the windows checking for hostiles. They jump at every creep and moan of the ship. The tension is almost palpable. That's not good. We need to do something about the morale of the crew. We jump into a debris field that used to be Sultan Cruiser. Unfortunately, its enemy escort takes you for the attacker and retaliates. They refuse all hails. I'm sorry, but I will do what I have to to survive. Okay, so they have their own defense drone and plenty of weaponry, which is not good for us. We need some some better combat abilities, so let's go for our own drone and let's hope that together with it we'll be able to push through eventually. We need to coordinate our shots with it. Unfortunately we missed. Okay. We managed to finally score some hit, but from what I'm seeing, we should actually focus much more on their ships, uh, on their shields. They are very powerful. Okay, we managed to score a successful hit on their shields, lowering them to level 1. Let's try to keep it up because they are repairing it very fast. But thanks to that we know that we put their crew in that specific room. I'm gonna take a few more shots before uh, boarding the ship. Unfortunately they managed to repair. Okay, I don't think it's gonna work anymore, so let's go directly to their shield systems. Okay. Unfortunately, from what I can tell, they are here healing up wherever they are. Oh, we managed to shut down their, their drone, which is a great success on our part. Okay, we wounded their medbay. 
which will stop them from healing up. Let's break their shields. Okay. Let's make them uh, come to us. Okay. This one guy moved uh, to repair the shields. But this will actually put him in danger. Finally, the crew are dead. So let's take their fuel and move on. Remember to always take your crew back from the enemy ship. Because if you forget and jump to the light speed, they will be gone forever. And you certainly don't want to lose your crew like that. Okay. As they are healing up, we should move. Unfortunately, still with no shop uh, anywhere in view. Oh no. There are a few more Zealous in their custom customs checks than the Zoltan. A team of border police beam on board. There's just a little confusion over your weapon licenses, but things escalate rapidly from heated discussion to gunfire. I'm really sad that we actually have to hurt them as they are innocent and they don't really do anything bad, per se. Let's go and protect our uh, oxygen systems just in case. So in the meantime, I forgot, but we have to actually shoot at them. Uh, okay. So they destroyed our systems, but uh, only the engine and the teleport room. So let's quickly repair engines, we will have some kind of maneuverability as we will take out their systems. We can actually try to repair the boarding room and uh, let's actually make a move on them. Remember to always try to take a boarding action if you can and if you have some sense of how big the crew of the enemy ship is. Thanks to that we managed to score some more fuel, which is very good. Let's go back, friends. They did very well. So let's heal up and jump to the next point. You recognize the ship as a well-known slave tra trader. He helps you and offers you laborers for cheap. No, I'm gonna attack them. Which gonna be a hard fight, judging by their shield system and their hull power. They have um, burst laser and ion cannon. So two formidable weapons. I'm actually gonna... No, yes, yes or no. No, I'm not gonna do anything with my drone right now. Let's try to take out their shield systems. And I'm gonna prepare a boarding party. Good, we actually scored a hit against their shield system. Just a single hit, but that's already pretty good. And it's a small room, so we're gonna move our boarding party there and try to take them out. Thankfully our shots managed to hurt them a little bit before our uh, party arrived. And so uh, our crew will have easier, easier job taking them out. Very good. And that's it. We are scoring a lot of scrap from those, uh, those boarding runs. We are already at almost 400. And so with that we should be able to buff our uh, weapon resistance.
let's do that and uh, let's jump to the next system next sector this is the rock control sector when they are unfortunately hostile towards uh, federation so let's hope we'll be able to navigate safely the rock people are powerful and proud race it is not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands but don't count on it <laughs> 